Good morning, Ali Pallies, and welcome back to my channel. Now, this morning, I have been watching a channel called Beauty and the Bees um, because she gave me a very nice shout out um, in the video. So I just wanted to say hi, Beauty and the Bees. It was so nice to get your support. Um, and she inspired me because I do definitely recommend you go over and see this video. She's got a huge Daniel Sandler haul, bigger collection than I have. And uh, it's just great. And she swatches them all really in depth. So go and have a look and I'll link that below. Um, but it inspired me to do a full face of Daniel Sandler today. So um, thanks for the inspiration. I just need to get this makeup on me. And I just felt like something very natural and glowing. And... Um, as some of you know, I don't often favour Daniel's foundation, not as much as Beauty and the Bees. Not because I don't like it, but because of the coverage and because of my pigmentation. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that today. And um, I'm going to do a full face, so let's get ready, shall we? Okay, so first up, I'm going to use Daniel's primer. This is really good, and it's called the Daniel Sandler Silky Skin Pro Finish Face Primer. And it's one of those that feels very silky, fills in pores. And I've noticed a few open pores a lot recently around this part of my cheek area. So I want to put this on because I haven't used it for a while. Um, so I'm just putting a little bit on my fingertips and I'm going to blend this in with my fingers. And concentrate specifically around this area and up here where my pores tend to be a bit more open and also up at the top because I've got a few lines and this will go some way to smoothing them out. And I'm going to try not to be too heavy handed with his foundation. I think that's something I I always tend to do to try and get more coverage out of it. But I've decided today that I'm just going to let my pigmentation show through. I'll do a bit of covering, but I'm not going to go mad. Okay, so that is the primer nicely blended into my skin. And then I'm going to go in with his foundation. And his foundation is in shade Honey, which is a perfect match for me. And so I'm just going to dot. I always go over the top when I look back. I'm going to start off with a tiny amount like that. That's a tiny amount for me anyway. And then I'm going to blend it in with Charlotte's Tilbury's um, Hollywood Complexion Brush because it's really good for buffing product into the skin. And this foundation is buildable. So what I will do is I will build it a little bit more on this upper cheek area where I have the pigmentation but I will leave the rest alone because I don't need it elsewhere it's just this middle area I find obviously that will need a bit of concealer so I'm just going to layer a little bit more oops that's probably too much I can't help it I can't help it. it's my habit around that area okay and then I'm going to go in with the concealer and I'm just going to get his concealer brush okay here's the concealer brush and I'm going to go in at the top here and I love the fact that you can really get into targeted areas here.
Now I'm just going to take a little bit more on my finger to go over that pigmentation. Now for my eyes, I'm going to use a combination of the Radiant Glow Palette and Beyond Sunset Eyeshadow Quad. So here's the Radiant Glow Palette, which can be used, as always, on the cheeks and the eyes. And then here is the Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm going to use a mixture. So first of all, I'm going to actually go in with my fingers and I'm going to use the gold shade, I think. This one here on my lids. I think actually I'm going to mix the gold and this one next to it and put that onto my lids. So I'm putting the gold on first and then dabbing the pink over the top. So it just slightly takes off the wow of the gold, it makes it a bit more of a day colour. And then with this smudger brush, I'm going to take that underneath a little bit. Again, mixing the two shades together, just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. And particularly towards the inner corner. And with my pinky, I'm going to take the highlighter from this Radiant palette and just pop some of that in here. Now you could put the gold in, but I'm going to keep this a little bit more daytime. Okay, I might put a bit of the gold over the top, just a tiny bit actually, so it doesn't look quite as white. All right, and then I'm going to swap palettes and I'm going to go into this Beyond Sunset palette. And firstly, I'm going to go in with this, I love this shade, this taupey shade um, here and gradually build up a bit of intensity in the socket. And I'm using a MAC 217 brush. And then with the smudge brush, I'm just going to take a bit of that shade, take it underneath and just link it up a little bit, just a little bit in the corner. But I'm actually going to go over that in a minute, so I'm not too worried. Then I'm going to go in with this deep chocolate brown here and just tuck that right into the corner. I'm going to make it very intense, but in a small 
area. Today, I'm just placing it first. And then I'm going to relax my eyes because I can't see it. So that's why I have to do a kind of outward triangle there so that when I relax my eyes, it suggests where the socket is. Okay, I'm not going to take this too far along because it will blend across. And I'm just going to do that the other side. Now you know that normally I blend that out with a, a blending brush. Today I'm actually going to try and blend it out with a smudge brush so that I keep it quite intense in that area. But nevertheless blended. And then when in doubt, go in with your fingers. Brush the wrong way round. Okay, and then with the edge of this smudge brush, I'm going to take some more of that brown and right on the edge of the smudge brush, I'm going to tuck it underneath my lashes. So I'm kind of stamping it. Can you see what a difference that makes? And yet it doesn't take over the entire lid. I'm just going to go over this a little bit with my blending brush. That's better. And actually, I'm going to be a bit bold and I'm going to go in with a bit of that gold. gold of this palette. And also a little bit in the centre. To give a very subtle highlight in the middle of the lid. That'll do nicely. And now I'm going to get a an eyeliner of his. Might help if I press the button to record. I'm going to use this green eyeliner 
in my lower waterline. And I'm just going to link up that corner so that it doesn't look like it came out of nowhere. And then I'll put my mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, now I don't have a Daniel Sandler brow product. But I thought I, today I'd try something which I haven't tried yet, which is a little sample I got of the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Um, and then I'm going to put that on and then wherever I've got some gaps, I'm going to fill it in with my favourite um, brow pen, which is MAC Shape and Shade. And I kind of only use the pen side of that one. So first of all, I'm just going to brush up my brows to try this really excited because I haven't tried this one yet I've been trying the colored ones but not the clear one You could use this to set it, set what you've just done. If you put like a powder product on your brows. Or you could do it the way that I'm doing it, which is to kind of tame them with the clear brow gel and then go along with a pen and fill in the gaps. Now that one's brushed up more than the other. My my brows are definitely not twins. I always say they're not even sisters, they're half sisters. I'm going to use this pen. And I'm using the shade. It's the darkest one they do, which is spiked. But even the darkest pen is not too dark. Okay, now that area is still looking a bit sparse. So I will show you this side. If I'd known I was going to do this, I would have done it before the clear gel. But I can go back in. This just fills up any areas that remain a bit sparse. Let me just go back in with that clear brow gel to just set that because it is a powder. Let's see if I can find it. What have I done with it? Hold on a second. Here it is. I just brush that up to make sure I've set that powder 
into place. That's my brows done. Now to the cheeks. Okay, so first in, I'm going to go with a, a shade called Glow, which I think, I believe, is an exclusive shade to Beauty in the Boutique. And it's like a sort of glowy bronzer, quite a light bronzer, but quite good for medium skin. So I'm just putting a little bit on my hand and I'm going to use the water brush today. And I'm going to use that as a bronzer just to kind of warm up my face a bit. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more under my chin. So that's kind of a bronzer, a subtle bronzer. But it's got a lovely glow to it. And then I'm going to pick a blusher. Okay, I couldn't decide between Passion and this other one, which has lost its tag, but I think is gentle. So I thought, why not mix them? Because you can do that. So that's what it looks like. And I'll just pick some of that up with my water brush and start blending it in. I'm starting to enjoy using this brush now. I've always said that I prefer to put this on with my fingers and I still do, but I'm quite enjoying this too. Now, Beauty and the Bees was mixing her shades as well. So it's inspired me. Thank you for inspiring me. And I'll just put a little, I always like to, when I've put a blush on, just put the tiniest hint there, just so that it doesn't look like I've just got that color on my cheeks, but it, looks like it's naturally there in my skin tone it just brings it together like if i just put a bit there now i'm going to give it a pop of something else in the center of my cheeks because i'm in the mood for mixing now i'll be right back now stand by because you're all going to think i've gone mad now but i'm going to use this one called acid Thinking she's just put a peach blush on and she's going to put a bright pink one on. But I'm going to put the tiniest amount and I'm going to use my fingers so I can have targeted control over this. But I just want to pop the tiniest amount on the centre of my cheek. and then blend it into the peach. Because when we blush, we don't blush peach or pink. It's often a mixture of the two. If you look at your cheeks when you're a bit flushed, so often a mixture of the two, especially if you've got olive undertones. And then I'm going to do yet another one, but this time to highlight. So this is Elegance. This is one of the new shades. It's a light peach highlighter. And that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to dot that 
with my finger. And then I'm going to do some my lips and I'm going to use, I was going to put red on. Shall I put red on? Can't decide between red and pucker. And I like them both. Let me go away and I'll think. Okay, I am going to use the red, but I'm not going to use it in exactly the same way as I normally do, which is just to put a coat on quite a reasonable coat on. I'm going to put a little bit of Lana lips on because my, this is a clear one because my lips are quite dry. And give that a good rub in. And then I'm going to apply this micro red, which is my favorite red. But today I'm going to try it, just applying it with my fingers as a stain rather than a traditional lipstick bullet. Because I haven't done that before. And actually that looks really pretty. I don't know if you've all seen me when I apply this traditionally, but this is what it looks like if you just put it on as a traditional lipstick. But it's quite nice, just dabbed on like that. And these are so moisturizing these lipsticks if I was going to put a thicker coat on I wouldn't have needed the Lana lips I like that so that's that and I'm going to finish off with one last thing now you need a nice thick fluffy brush and I know just the one just hold on a second. Two things. I definitely feel like I need a little bit more concealer because I didn't sleep well last night. So I've got quite big shadows there. So I'm going to go in. I could have probably done with a bit of colour corrector today. Okay, and then... I'm going to take this brush, which is an IT cosmetics brush, which I got with a bronzer. And I'm going to use it with the Radiant Glow palette. And I'm just going to swirl it round. And go easy on this, otherwise it could just end up looking a bit too much. But swirl it around all four of the shades and I'll just give that a tap just to remove the excess and then I'm going to swirl that around my entire face to give me a nice radiant glow and that is my look for today i hope you've enjoyed it and i will see you all very soon take care see you tomorrow for the live